Also, there is a massive effort underway now locally to help up to 350 Afghan refugees who soon may be coming right here to Buffalo. And those behind it have a lot of experience helping refugees and other immigrants, but they don't have a lot of time to organize this. Channel 2's Dave McKinley has more about the effort and how you can help. All there is left is depression. The stories of those who've been here for years about those they left behind and now desperately trying to get out themselves are heart wrenching. And my phone is filled with messages from my family and friends who are all worried and living in a life of despair. According to Congressman Brian Higgins, 24,000 Afghanis have arrived in the U.S. in just the past few weeks. Up to 80 percent of them are officially classified as so-called humanitarian parolees, a term he abhors. That's a bureaucratic term that is a terrible misnomer. He prefers to call them evacuees and notes as such they're not eligible for a variety of public assistance programs normally available to designated refugees and special immigrant visa holders who assisted the U.S. military mission in Afghanistan. That is why this group is trying to raise three quarters of a million dollars to secure housing, food, health care, legal services and other needs for those who come until they get on their feet, all the while not knowing just how many will arrive and win. We just don't know. And so we're trying to make a plan and asking for the community's help so that we're ready no matter what that flow of people looks like. Resettlement will be primarily in the city as those fleeing their homeland don't bring cars with them. Access to public transit is key. Often they'll initially land in challenged neighborhoods as funds for housing are limited as well. It might be that Afghans want to live where the Afghan communities are. A concept as old as the old first ward settled by Irish immigrants generations ago. Sometimes people want to help by opening up their own homes. Mm -hmm. Can they do that? Not at this moment. Because this is much more involved than clearing out the spare room or setting extra plates at the dinner table. We also have to be serving these people, right? We're going to be providing all the services you heard about this morning to the people as soon as they get here. That is not to say you cannot help, and you can find out how by visiting the web address at the bottom of your screen, which we also have a link to when you look for this story on WGRZ.com. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.